Hello and welcome back. This is Retic Spot and we are playing Pathfinder Kingmaker. And I see we have Jubilos the Alchemist. And we are on to our way to a Dwarven location, which I think I should take Harem as well with. There's probably nothing worth... yeah, probably not. Just go. And let's get Harem. We are just a few meters away. Yes, travel there. What do we have here? We have something done, maybe? Mm hmm Ah, we have an advisor position. Position. Yes, Jubilost. Oh, treasurer. Awesome. Projects. Support, support the council's endeavors. Ah, oh, that is not yet. Pillage, no. Research, no. Yes, 60 days. Yes, six. Ah, oh, well, 1,500. That will take... A while before I even get that. That has still 28 days till it's finished, and we have eight days till the other thing is finished. Um, what is that? Texas, yes, here we go. Ah, oh, we won that with you. Economy. Boom! Ah, that is awesome. I know that we can get as well a wizard for something as an advisor position and I didn't get the my last game. He was not there or I didn't meet him. And because I didn't meet him I couldn't give away the position or something like that. Do you want to enter the location? I do need to. Main square. That reminds me, I can even have a look at what Jubilos kind of uses. He probably used user, uses ranged items, weapons, stuff. I would be fitting with Harem, for because Harem is more the melee person as cleric with good armor and everything. So, uh, Juby lost. You there. You were a leather thing plus one. You have a heavy crossbow plus one. Bloody F. You don't need anything anymore. Well, yeah, have that ring. Gives you a bit better AC. Well, there's that, let's leave, uh, let's do that, yes, accept. I guess we have to put in the spells for Harem as well in the next tier. So, um, spellbook harem because he probably has there yeah. oh yes oh yes dispel magic even though i never had the i never had anything to do with that at the moment i couldn't dispel anything so far contagion Ooh. um cackle fever effects one die six wisdom damage mind fire damage and dex damage Subject contracts one of the following diseases, blinding, sickness, bubonic plague, cackle fever, mind fire and shakes. This disease contracted immediately. Um, the onset period does not apply. Blinding effects, um, one dies for strength damage, target must make an additional fort safe or be permanently blinded. Huh. Animate dead. This spell raises one dice for skeletal champions. They appear where you designate. Ooh, 
Mm -hmm. I see. Roof curse. Anything else? We stokers. Cure serious wounds. Damn. He has. Oh, he has a lot of healing spells as well. Cat's Grace, Bark Skinners. Well, the Bark Skinners is always good. Plus one AC. Oh, 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 what is that? Uh, H 2 HG or less. The creature is blind at age 3 or 4. The creature is blind but stunned. Damn, forget that spell. Snowball. I forget that too. Most important spell, magic missile. A large person, that is not even bad. And there, of course, acid splash, that is magnificent. Only spell she needs. So, um, we wanted to go to a place with that guy, Jubilost. Somewhere in this region, there is an ancient abandoned dwarven fortress. Yes. The famous traveler Jubilos Narthropel is searching for ruins. Yes, yes, that was perfectly well estimated. Let's go there. Yes, travel here. That's Oh, 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 encountered even one we cannot even evade. Their life ends here. Oh, how about that? And what about our formation? We have now we can have something a bit different. We want, well, of course, always. In the front. Jubilos. Uh, uh, because she is a bard and affects everyone in range, more or less. Yep, yep. More like that. That looks like. Looks, looks like more fun. Let us strike as one! <laughs> oh yes, and I can tell um acid more. Dalton, an elderly half elf stands before you. His sun bleached hair reveal him as a seasoned traveler, and the confidence with which he holds his bow reveals him to be a seasoned warrior. And his cart, full of various items. It seems a trader as well. If I won't harm them, what the hell? Better try asset. Damn, trolls almost died from the stink alone, the half of. Half of half elf wipes the sweat from his bro. They almost had me, since when are trolls not afraid of fire? Good thing I had a few flasks of acid among my goods. Thank you for your time, timely rescue friend. A few moments more and I would have whoever rules this land gives gives little care to its safety former Safety formerly safe trade roads are given over the trolls, and not a guard to be seen. But where are my manners? I am Dalton from M Miven, a merchant by trade. Who are you? Lord forget, I am the Baroness of these lands. Your words are fair. I'll do what I can to make the roads safer. Oh, I, I beg forgiveness, Your Grace. But these trolls, they are a threat to everyone. They've attacked several villages, destroyed several bridges, and are scaring away trade ca trade caravans worse than bandits by far. 
If your grace is willing to resolve this matter, I know I um I know a mage living nearby is I visit him from time to time and sell him regions for his spells. He's an expert on trolls. Might know um might know what why they are might know why they've suddenly become bolder and fireproof. Um, I can see you're an experienced trader. Would you consider operating exclusive, exclusively my barony? I don't get me wrong, Your Grace, but I fa I have family in Brevoy, so my roads always must take me there, no matter um the dangers of the journey. Uh, diplomacy aid that is doable so far. These roads aren't safe. I would suggest you go um, no further than the capital and wait until the roads can be garrisoned properly. Yes! If things are that bad, well, then perhaps I shall conduct my business here for a time. Very well. Tell me more about the mage. Um, Bartholomew is his name. He is not a bad... he's not bad for a human. Always so polite, so respectful, but there's something odd about him. He lives, al he lives alone in the middle of the woods, his house surrounded by traps with single safe road leading to it. No bandit no, nor troll scare him. And the way he looks at you, it's always like he's ex um, examining, li examining you, like he is considering it to crack you, <laughs> to crack you open to see what's inside the chills. Any other dangers? Um, trolls are enough, huh? Actually, I have heard uh, a disturbing rumor. It said a uh, hordak has made a lair in the cave south of here. Um, whether true or not, traders are taking no chance taking forest routes instead of the uh, for forest routes instead. Let let me mark it on your map. You're from Mivon, you say. What is the what is the view in what is their view on this new barony? Long ago, Mivon was founded by a swordlord who refused to bow before the new ruler and fled Brevoy, while not br while not burns anyone. Our people and the people here have a lot in common. As I've heard, the barony here was founded by people from Rostov. We look upon them as distant cousins, I suppose. Welcome, cousin. That is not family you'd rather forget. A welcome cousin. Ah, yeah. Good fortune to you and your safe travels. Da -da -da -da. I was was sure I saw something up here as well, but I might be mistaken. So Bartholomew, we gotta go to him then first. Uh, my good, my good drink, Marta, with ginger. So where did I find Bartholomew? Lone house, that must have been him. Yes, I want to enter that location. <clears throat> yeah, I'm recording. Oh, God. I almost thought I didn't record, but I am recording. So, let's get to our mage. Hey, what are you still doing here? Well, whatever. If you don't run away, you don't. Might be some trolls on the way, though. I see something. Done and done. Done and done. I'm there.
think I could rem I remember that there was like a troll attack here as well. But that might have been later. Ah, all those bandits. Key needed. I do what I must. Mr. Bartholomew, where are you? I'm off. Hmm, I thought I could now go to him. Um, renown, explore the nature of the beast. It shouldn't be difficult to find the wizard house. There's a path on the road. Yeah, that's exactly where we are. Is he maybe on the road somewhere down here? I don't remember, but he should be somewhere here. Well, now he's here. Um, do you know anything about the local trolls who are resistant to fire? I've never heard anything like it. If it's true, I'll have to revise my defenses. Your Grace, I'm afraid we must um, intermit that conversation for now. A moment ago, a troll was caught in one of our fire traps. I know it was unharmed. I'd suggest that a chance to explore the corpse would be better to equip me to answer to your question. Um, my leash, I humbly request your, protecting, your protection. Please follow me. Accompany him. Yes. A clever ploy. At least they are still vulnerable to steel and acid. Now let's look into... Oh yes, the quest didn't work the last time. Now let's look into why this creature lost its respect for fire. Hmm, whatever that is... That's the reason its flesh didn't burn. Helm inspects the brand closed, closely. Alas! I recognize the cursed symbol. This is the hammer of Turak, a god neglectful of even his most devoted followers. I don't know why his hammer is decorated with, th with thorns, but it suits the treacherous god well. I must study this. Here is the key to my laboratory. Wait for me there. I'll join you soon enough. Oh, it did work the last time, but I did tr kill the troll before we got here. Ah, I understand. Weird stuff happening. I'm positive I found something. I did as you asked. Ah, oh, that jewel lost. There are a few bad puns with that name we could make. His parents thought with the name he he'll be lost. <laughs> that was a very bad pun. My secret room. Oh, I don't like surprises. Nope, me neither. But we have a done and done. <laughs> Surprise is armor. Anything else? Uh, let's take it all. <laughs> Borba. Borva, kill me! Enough, it hurts! No, oh, that was a bit too fast. I just pressed the once for space for but. It was simpler than I thought. This is just a simple spell of fire protection. Any competent wizard could cast it. The unusual element was the way the spell was applied. This was cast by. 
This wasn't cast by any human hand, though. Oh no, the brand was stamped on with some artifact, which would make it impossible, which would make it possible to make trolls fire resistant, resistant in massive number. This is a grave news for us, for us all. My fire traps are useless now, and making acid traps will take me will take time and resources. More importantly, for trolls to, to organize in such a way, there must be some greater intelligence operating behind the scenes. And if that's the case, the list of potential targets for a force that's formidable is a short one. I promise you a reward, so please accept this asset once. And I'm afraid um, I'm afraid um, you may you may need to use them. Thank you. Um, oh, um, I sometimes have trouble accepting laws that would protect lowlifes like him, but he is within, with, within his rights. This is a disgusting practice, but it doesn't violate any laws. I can't forbid you to... Let's be neutral about that. How could you say that, Your Grace? I couldn't bring myself to harm even an animal. Even choose, um, I've chosen this troll because they are a plague and their number needs to be thinned. I will leave you. You may continue your experiments. Are you both insane? Keeping a living creature in cage is torturing it. This is inhumane. Now, now, child, I would never do anything like this with humans. This is a troll, a mindless man-eater. You, your company, kills them in, do in the dozens. It's not the same. Would you allow cruelty like this in your lands? Order him to set the trolls free. Um... Um, that doesn't concern me, but since this is uh, so important to you, Bartholomew, I order you... Oh. Ah! Why, why, you, why? Bartholomew throws a long, sullen glance on you at once, Your Grace. Underst uh, Octavia gives Bartholomew a uh, glow to understand. Uh, that is. In due time. That is not what I wanted. Not good. Um, good day, my Baroness. You seem to be edu an educated man. Man, why are you? Why? Uh, what are you doing in the woods? I'm simply a humble servant of my Baroness. These traps in the woods are they yours? I doubt I can't tell you an anything of interest. Uh, I do what I must. That was a waste, I would say. I hope I can still do stuff with him. I don't know. Bloody Octavia. That wasn't planned.
In due time. Now let's go in here. There's still stuff undiscovered. There was nothing worth discovering. So let's continue. I think we should have now wizard uh, uh locate the wizard the wizard's house. It shouldn't be difficult to find, yes. How to kill a troll, meet the wizard in the in the laboratory. The wizard found an odd brand. Yeah, that's done done done. <laughs> Loyal servants. I've I have a feeling that just five leaders won't make a real council. No, probably not. How to build a kingdom that is done. Time flies by and good um the good old villagers just aren't enough. The Baroness decided to take the capital of the settlements must grow larger. Yes, that's true. Increase the rank of the barony stat that is as well in the work. Thank Barry for Bokken. Token feathers. Yeah, we are still on that. Hmm. A leaf. Uh, I probably should have taken the lawful evil decision. So that must be oh that's the lair of that beast but that's something for my for my um dum -dum -dum need to catch my barbarian way. which is not in my group yet well at the moment oh we have to manage stuff uh huh jubilost you over here so it's five who Harem Harem's gloomy mood uh, and love of solitude mystically reduces the party chance of attracting monsters and enemies. The chance of attacking decreased for every guard that begins during the night. Huh? Effective management, what is that? Jubilus organizes all the party members and offering the most efficient ways to performing ca camping routines. Camping time reduced by one hour. Oh, awesome. Let's do that here then. I think it starts here. And ends there. Wow. Really? Eight. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. One, two, three, four. No, oh, yeah. Eight to that. Those are sixteen. Plus one, two, uh, twenty-four. About twenty-four. Hmm. I'll begin the rest. Let's see how we fare. <laughs> Oh, we feel rather well. And that's, I think, the, uh, the place, the swamp, which is hot. Yes, where we find the leaves, but we have to fight a evil monster. And the evil, I don't mean evil per se, I mean evil and tough one, because the area is full of fog, which um uh, gives you uh reduces your stats actually so you have to lure it out oh bloody what the fuck primal fucking Can you make it pose? Need inspiration ah. <laughs> out of our story Oh. This strike, my master. 
peace. Jesus Christ, what the heck? It's Milodon. You took some damage, I think. No, you didn't. Bloody heck, a magical creature. Event outcomes and consequences. Every um, event can resolve in one of the four ways. Disaster, the dice rolls, rolls uh, eight points or more below. Uh, there are two types of events, problems and opportunities. If a problem event ends with a failure, it decreases your stat. What the heck? Do I have to go back now to my kingdom because there's something happening and I didn't know about that? <sighs> yes. What the heck is happening? That's again a magical beast. To victory. Yep, it's again a magical right. beast. Did I miss something? What's happening here? <laughs> Adventures can wait. Oh. Damn, I'm now exhausted and I have an account I cannot even evade. Oh, no, oh, we saw something that probably no one else um, had ever seen. And besides the blazing campfire stood a kobold. Ah. Damn it. But oh yes, law is good enough. Um, keeping our head slow, we walked through the dried up creek and another spot that was closer to the scene. We could hear the mysterious culprit words, but from there, uh, rather from there. His primitive speech was a mixture of some crude versions of common and giant, punctuated with heavy hissings and vigorous gesturing. With some difficulties, we managed to figure out what he was saying. And what we hear shocked us to the core. Shame, disgrace, the cobalt hissed as he continued. Trolls, cowards, pathetic flames, not scary. With these words, he plunged his paw into the fire. The, the sleeves of the tattered rope um, ropes caught fire and he raised his hands in the air. See, flames, flames, flames. The, the trolls hid behind trees out of fear, making the kobolds shake with anger. Hissing and groaning, he switched to an, an atrocious mixture of trolls and kobold speech, which was even more incomprehensible than before. Uh -huh. That is as well not too bad. Wow. We've tried to make sense of what was happening. Let's do that. It seems the kobold was sh was um, shaming the trolls for cowardice. Shaming the trolls for cowardice. Hissing and, gru and grunting. He repeated, Ha Gulka! several times, causing the trolls to tuck their hats, off, ha hats out and slouch 
a deeper each time. It must have been the name of a very important troll, a chieftain, a pack leader, something they've regarded as an authority. Whatever the case, the kobolds were to hit the target. One of the trolls, the tallest and mightiest one, stood straight and stepped forward. His enormous claw invol 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 involuntarily scratched at his bloodied shoulder, which, which held a burnt in pattern. The other trolls, sh the other troll shoulders looked to have the same pattern, as as though they'd all been branded. The kobold stretched his arm, his arms out to the troll. His sleeves still on fire. Flames, flames, flames! The kobold hissed, menacingly in common. Flames, flames, flames! The trolls replied in their own tongue. The brave troll stepped closer to the campfire. Um, we took the chance um, and tried to push the trolls into the into the fire. Um, the stealthy threw a stone to the, on the. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Oh, it failed. We'll do it. Ah, they can see the mark. Find out more about these trolls, and we did. More strength fades. Yeah, that's because we are weak. I think we should rest. But still, what the fuck is happening to the kingdom? What did I miss? What didn't I see which was there before? Four hours. That is some. That's that's the number I want to see. Ancient curse part two. The spider invasion has been dealt with. What? S what spider invasion? And what? Why part two? The quest just ran out, and after I've dealt with it, um, building points and income. Building points are the barony's main resource. They are required for settlements, upgrades, construction projects, management, and so on. The barony treasury's weekly income is 30 building points, sent by the Yamadi Aldori from Bavoy. Apart from that, your territory territories, territories have their own individual income. Which increases the their basic income plus other BP resources. Basic income depends on your barony's stats. Each rank adds one building point to the weekly income, but the total rank contributes to the basic income um, cannot exceed the profit profitability of your economy. So that's what I somewhere explained that the rank increases income but the economy has to be the lead always 
the economy has if it has rank two everything else in rank two will contribute a building point to that so uh, unfortunately failure proposal for cooperation oh no that was that should have worked Bands and marauding trolls have been seen through the region. People are frightened. Why failure? There was... There was not even a quest for that. Bloody bonkers. Oh, there was a quest and I did that and... <sighs> Shit. No, it's already the first. Okay, yes, travel there. We have to get yes, enter and we have to get to the thing, throne room and be updated by our local advisors. Ah. I think I will not make it this episode to the dwarven um ruins or whatever. Stefano Mosconi, Mosconi, the man before you reeks of vanity. His black hair is curled, styled and generously waxed. From from the hair atop his hat to the point of his mustache. His cheeks are his cheeks and foreheads are powdered white, giving him a pallid look. His hands rests casually on the golden hilt of his rapier. As he approaches, a mean sly smile appears on his face clearly practiced and prepared in advance. Ah, the ruler of, the, of this barony. I am flattered by the, your attention, Sir Sephanomus Coney of Pytex, at your service. What brings a Pytex in noble to my barony? I was traveling back home to glorious Pytex after paying a visit to Restov. In all serving to the kingdom's Catruccius Irovetti, I thought I might take a day to, vis to visit the capital of Pytex's bold new neighbor, Sir Stephanus Nuss. <coughs> I must say, I really should have sp uh, spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. Let's see, what do we have? Oh, choose either one of these not evil options. I'm always open to criticism so long as it's fair and reasonable. A five-year-old could tell you're deliberately trying to offend me, Sir Stefano. Perhaps you could just tell us directly what it is you came here for. i will watch my tone, where, where are you, lest I send you back to Pytex sooner than you'd planned. Well, let's take the first option. I'm always open to criticism, so long as it's fair and reasonable. Well then, I'll gladly give you my report. So Stefano voices takes on a consideration tone. Follow along on your fingers, assuming you can count. 1. Your army is weak. You lack the guards to protect... To, pro to properly defend your lands, so you must choose between the villages, the towns, and the trade routes. Two, your economy is shame is in shambles. You have to personally resolve an issue of tax collecting from some lowly inn, and it seems your treasury even depends upon his handful of coins. And three, your cultures, well, non-existent really. What do you uh, what do you even have? No art, no galleries, no universities. Your capital may as well be a cow shed, with you with you a donkey sitting on top of uh, atop a heap of hay. Um, no matter how weak my barony may be, you have no right to speak to me in such a tone. 
Uh, Codec Neutral, Sir Stefano, please be frank with me. You have ever had the pleasure of being acquainted with, um, with the hooves of a jackass? Or other than your own feet, I mean? Oh, that's a good one. Sir Stefano opens his mouth and immediately closes it. You've um, performed a neutral. Uh, now, allow me to personally tax your cottage so as to help improve my economy. And as taxes are especially high this year, I hope you'll be able to pay. The punishment for failure to pay is imprisonment. Sir Stefano furiously starts to speak. My king will not stand for. Ah, yes, King Irovetti. Very not. I'll be sure, sure I sent him a melancholic, m missive lying news of your tragic fate. Run along then. Go back to uh, go back and cry in your kingdom's lap. Uh, what? So Sir Fallon Paul's midrand. My tragic fate? Yes, tr tragic fate you met after attempting to escape your chains. Now, if there's nothing more. I suggest you um, go replaster. Um, you go replaster your face with whatever makeup you've been using. Your cheeks are so bright, and the red glow must be visible from Absalom. I I'll take my leave now. That was nice. Your Grace. We are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defended the strange dryad who led them. As a sign of gratitude, um, your subjects have um, a special reward for you. 2,800. Oh, nice. I wonder, was this the flood of spider truly the cause by the curse? I mean, the curse must be an ancient and very ominous. The spider were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This doesn't seem sh uh, strange. Seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than a true curse. Then how can you explain the dismissal? Uh, dis then how can you explain the dismal atmosphere at the bold, bald hilltop? Hilt uh, the bald hilltop. Bloody fuck! The pleasure of both of us felt there, George. The pressure both of us felt of that George. May the curse drove you drove the poor dried insane, causing it to lead the spider invasion into the barony. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider spider's invasion was over, I v visited the bald hilltop again. It's grown quiet once more, and just as gloomy as before. I don't think there the curse is broken, just lying low. Like a monster that rests before the before it feeds again. How much time do we have? Uh, a fair amount, I'd say, half a year or even more. Well, let's prepare. For, uh, well, let's prepare for the next attack. Very wise, yes, I know. I don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They never had any spider invasions before. And nothing um, ever happened to the bald hilltop before either. Now both spiders and the curse, right when the new barony appeared on the southern lands, all of all of this seems highly coincidental. Uh, yeah, something like that. And we got a level up. Yes. So we'll do the level up right now let's do it right now and then we'll be done with this episode and then in the next one we'll see what well we'll hopefully see the dwarven place mm -hmm. what's that Ah, <sighs> Ranger tier 6. Yes, and we got the combat style feed. Oh, ooh, combat style feed. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, 
archery. Oh, many shot. Improved precise shot. Ah, ah, that needs a basic attack bonus of 11. Oh, we have a few levels to go before that. But that, um, with that we have no uh, concealment anymore, which would be awesome. Rapid shot. Um, when making a full attack with a ranged weapon. Ah, come on. You can fire in one additional time this round as your highest bonus. All of your attacks will take a minus two penalty using rapid shot. Point blank master. Um, choose this one type of range. Uh, choose one type of range weapon. You do not provoke attacks of opportunity. Opportunity firing when selected the weapon while threatened. Normally using a range weapon while you are threatened. Threatened provokes. Ah yes, definitely. That goes to uh, longbow because we are using longbow. That means even in close combat we can use bow, which is absolutely fantastic. Boom. There's much more to go. Um, level six, Nagus or Magus. I always want to say Ma Nagus from Star Trek. And the Ferengi, the great Nagus. Uh, uh, let's take that one. I do not care that much about this character, unfortunately. Um, Molten Orb is probably a nice spell. And tier 6 Inquisitor. Uh, oh, outflanked. Yeah, that's something we should use definitely. Um, whenever you are an ally who is the same, yes, outflanking is a good thing. Remove paralyze invisibility. Find traps. Uh, let's give you uh, cure wounds. Next one. Barbarian, yes, tier 6. That means two attacks for her. Oh. Hmm. I have no idea how everything works from here. Let's take this one. Well, effect stacks be faster. Or reckless stance, then maybe. I don't know. I should look more into the barbarian at some point. Ah, yes, the warrior fighter. Oh, tower shield burst barrier. At second level, the tower shield especially can be can use a shield uh, to screen himself from burst spells and effects, gaining plus one bonus on reflex save against them um, while employing tower shield. This bonus increases plus one by for every four levels. Nice. So, um, three. No, oh, look at that, how low that is now. That is fantastic. You should have that. Mm, no, that doesn't make sense. Oh yeah, I think she has the the bones as well for close combat. Hammer, hammer the gap. You repeatedly strike the same location, causing increased amounts of damage. Benefit when you make a full attack, each consecutive hit against the same opponent deals extra damage equally to the number of previous consecutive hits. So, meaning if I hit it once, I get a plus one damage for the next hit. If I hit it. And if I miss, then it probably is. Um, Oh, gone again. 
Blind find. Blind fight is always a good thing to take. Uh, oh, what did I take? Lindsay, ah, oh, Lindsay, okay, yeah. Oh, no, that's okay. That's alright. That's alright. Can you observe her? When a rogue, uh, when a rogue assistant makes a perception check, she gains a plus four bonus. Combat tricks. Fast. So this ability allows the rogue to move. Oh. Iron guts. Ro rogue with this talent. Rogue? We are bard. We are doing bard levels, right? Yes, we do. Bard talents. Well, let's do this one. Can you observe her? Why don't you get another tier 2 spell? Let's maybe take an elemental for summoning. Choo -choo -choo. Oh, yes. Oh, he doesn't get a level up either. Why not? Hmm, that is not so cool, but well, what can we do? Yay, more sneak attack damage. Well, we should have had that one before already, because of one of, ta one of the talents, I think. Oh, let's see, let's back that up. Does she have that kind of talent that I gave it to her? That extra sneak attack thing. Uh, can you dodge? Rogue proficiencies. That's normal sneak attack. Maybe I haven't done that. Because it was only half a level, it would only. And the stick attack damage would only take one. Well, to get to, to that one, I would need it. We'll see. Rogue, of course. There's so many points. And of course, Heron. Level 6 Cleric. So, these were all the level, up level ups. Jubilos is still missing, and uh, Tristan. Damn. I don't get it. Why? Didn't he start with the same kind of um, experience points? Poor bastard. But now I should have it. I should have two attacks per round. Plus thirteen. Not bad. I already forgot again. What does my new talent do? I did um, the next precise shot. Point blank master. Uh, choose one type of range weapon. Ah, yes, I do not proc attacks of opportunity anymore, which is absolutely fantastic. Well, that was uh, my episode number 10, I believe. I'll see you on the next one. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>